Hey, yo, what's up? This disciple Marcello Courage rain back up in this anti Illuminati all day, anti telepathy all day, anti America all day. Everybody with him. So, this message is going to be about the Trump supporters. All these make America great again, people. All these Trump supporters and all these people, this rallying of, of, of people that's following Donald Trump. Let's note that the most vigorous or zealous of these supporters are Southern white people. They're Southern white people from rural places, even self self proclaimed rednecks with red MAGA hats on. They come from a world disconnected from mainland America and they really don't know what's really going on. Really. I would suspect that a good portion of these supporters are don't even are not even informed about the state of present day America. They're just rallying behind this this guy, Donald Trump. So are they involved? So are they interested in politics? Or are they interested in, in, in something else? You tell me what it is. He can do no wrong. This is what you need to know about what's the dangerous, most dangerous part about these supporters is Donald Trump can do no wrong in their sight. Donald Trump can do no wrong in their sight which means he can do any and everything and have these people possibly, and they will still follow him and he possibly can have them do any and everything. He can begin to utilize them as an army. This is something you, you are underestimating. You're underestimating the power of a movement, of a people, of a following. This is what you're up against still. You're still up against this. They're looking for Donald Trump to be put in office 2024. So you're still up against this. So while you're sleeping, they're creeping. They're creeping through politics. They're creeping through your cities. Who knows what? They're probably in every great city now. They probably have sophisticated themselves as chapters in every city. Just like gangs, just like biker gangs, they have chapters. They probably do. While you're thinking they're just a bunch of hooping and hollering people at a rally. That's all shit TV is showing you. That's all TV is showing you. Okay. But what I'm about to show you is how they um, they are uh, basically bitter people. People that were lurking and waiting for revenge because Barack Obama was the president. Oh, you didn't think... You didn't think these racist people would get their revenge? 
you're a simpleton. I'm going to keep calling you a simpleton until you start to use your brain. Until you jolt your brain to action and thought. Until you jolt your brain to thought. Okay? I'm going to keep poking your mind to make you think outside of just you sitting there just getting what comes to you. Because racist white America is quite relentless and quite progressive and quite relevant. Oh, yeah. They didn't tell you that, did they? White America, racist right, white America, is very progressive and, and relevant. Very relevant. And you thought that they were going to let you get away with having a black president. You thought they were going to get away with letting you have an a, a African-American president. You thought they were going to let you get away with having a president that is of African descent. They didn't let you get away with it. They did not let you get away with it. Unlike you and unlike these progressive young white Americans that feel that American history was awful, was an injustice, was racist. There are those who, who are out there who they just have in their minds that they're going to be on top. They're going to be on top no matter what. They're not going to allow the black man or any other race to triumph over their leadership, who they are. So what they did was they got revenge by putting this guy in office that would counter all the progress that would counter all the perspective that black people are not bad people they can articulate themselves they put this man in office to counter all that progress. So what these these individuals did, this is the timeline. They were white, like, they were angry, disgruntled, and bitter while you were happy, joyful, and merry during the Obama, Barack, President Obama, Barack Obama, his administration. During, the pres during President Barack Obama's administration, they were bitter, angry, and hateful. The whole time. This is the world that you don't know. This is the world that you don't see. This is the world that still exists. So what they did was like I said on my other video, they sat back and they waited. 
That's for the non-politicians. They sat back and waited. And they was going to jump on the first Republican smoking. That was their agenda. Meanwhile, the racist white people that's in politics that also hated it, that also couldn't stand it, the governors that couldn't stand it, all these people that feel intimidated that they were going to be subject to the African-American community. That they were going to be subject to the African-American culture and what did that mean for them? They were politicking to groom and put someone in office that could counter Barack Obama's racial progress. This is what the dynamic that I'm telling you that you need to look at, that you're overlooking the racial progress that he made. He made progress concerning the rednecks, the, ru the, the white people in the rural parts of America that's disconnected from America. They had to watch the president. And because he was black, they definitely wanted to watch. They definitely wanted to see who he was. So all these, this population that's in the rural places, places that black people can't go, places, places that non-white people can't go, Barack Obama's image, words, was down there. And they beheld a man that articulated himself properly. He didn't look like the image that they see on TV. He didn't look like a rapper. He didn't look like a savage. He didn't look unsophisticated. He didn't look like all these images that they seen on TV, whatever they may be. And he won over the hearts of many of these people and you didn't know it. You didn't know that he influenced and changed how rural white people see African Americans, whether they wanted to accept it or not, he was not an image of a gangster. He was not a savage. Okay? He was none of those things. They could not find those things in him. And on top of that, here's the punchline he was running their country. And here's the other punchline. He wasn't assassinated. He wasn't killed. Which now showed that the, the black African American man can go into politics, can go into leadership and not and be a threat against racism and not be killed. This is this gives this takes away hope from the race 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 people racist people. It takes away their hope because he's given authority and he didn't die. And that information in history speaks for itself and speaks volumes to the racist community.
What you don't understand is the racist community, the white community that that feels that this country is theirs, that feels that this country is theirs just because they are white, not because they work for it, not because they have a government job, not because they influenced the change and brought about any change or pioneered anything. People that are just white and feel that this country is theirs. Just because of that. Even though their con community, their country, their father and their family isn't connected to the change. They feel that it's theirs even though their family isn't directly connected to what this country is. They feel it's theirs. A lot of these people that ra ra wave flags is just a sign that this is ours. This is our country. It's a fight for the whites to stay in their position. To stay in their position of authority to control this country, to, to have dominion over this country. So they could not stand, what you don't understand is, why you're, why you're, here, let me, let me say this. Why, you can't be naive about this racist movement Racist people. It's thriving. It's not going away. You look at racial slurs and racist terms and a racist person as something that's out of touch. You look at racism of something as something of the past but it has sophisticated itself in many ways. And they know they're racist. They're not trying to hide it. The only people that are trying to hide it are people that are involved in mainland America in the urban community. These, there are militias, there are communities that you don't see on TV that you don't see. I got to see show you this because your your eyes are not open. It's come as communities that your government is not talking about that are proud to be racist and white. Well, you should be proud to be white, but they're proud to be racist to be against black people. So what they have, what they have done is calculated a plan to make sure white America cuz they're not concerned with the progression of America. They're concerned with the, pro the progression of a particular America where the white community is on top. They don't want Hispanics, Latinos, and blacks starting to flourish all over the culture, flourish all over the community. And honestly, they feel more threatened by the Mexican community than the black community because of how many com people they how many, how many kids they're having and how big their population is. So, eventually, if the world lives, the Mexican people will have their leader here in America. Eventually. 
there will come a prophet of Mexican descent that will speak for the masses and will speak for the people. I'm just showing you how things go. So that's almost inevitable. That means that white America will be basically what? And this is how they see it. What, what has happened is through culture and population, non-whites have dominated. Non-whites dominate through, uh, through the culture, through entertainment, and through um, through uh, j just in general, they dominate. So now white America has to um, they have to be they have to be secondary to what is what America is becoming. It's, it's, it's just what it is. It's just what it is. And that's not saying that there cannot be harmony, there cannot be unity, but if blacks in, are taking over the culture and Mexicans are having the most kids, that's a reality. So me saying they're secondary is based on that reality. And this is what the racist white Americans have understood is that eventually they are going to be usurped over and America is becoming something other than white. It's becoming something other than white. Okay? So the I have to do all of this so you have the understanding of why what the motives are. Because if I just tell you this, you are going, you're not going to um you're gonna have your own doubts. So I gotta show you and take you through all of everything, all the realities and everything. So next so it works you up to understand why they are doing what they're doing. So Donald Trump was put in office in order for you that are of the African American community and are of the, the 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 Hispanic and Latino community, they put him in office in order for in a desperate attempt. This man doesn't even know politics. He was an agent to counter the progress that Barack Obama made. Okay, racially speaking. So these Trump supporters are not just supporters of Donald Trump. They are supporters of keeping the white community on top of America. And many people are starting to see it. Make America white again, that's what many people are starting to say instead of making America great again with the Mag what the MAGA hats say. So it's about getting white America back on top. It's not about Donald Trump. 
they are only utilizing him. It's not so much about him as a person. They're utilizing him to do something. They're utilizing him to put the white man back on top, the white tribe back on top in a way that makes other races be put under the white man, the white community. This is the main purpose. And you got to understand this. Because if you don't understand this, you're going to you're going to be totally blind and naive to what's going on. When you understand this perspective, now you understand why there's this craziness, why so wild, why they're fighting why they're doing all these things because their motives is let's just make let's get white let's 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 shake off all this stuff that happened with Barack Obama and his administration let's shake all of that off let's let's get past all of that and let's get let's make sure that let's get back to white America being back on top and these minorities and these foreigners being under the white community. Look at all the things he said. Some would say it was a cons he even conspired to do this. Some would say he was told he was directed.